I'm back. Today on Cutting Through, we'll take on Crestron's Pixel Perfect excuse. Crestron has just released a firmware update for their NVX that claims to end the 1G versus 10G debate. After all this time, Crestron admits that the NVX would not reproduce a 4K60-444 static image accurately, such as a spreadsheet, and they conveniently admitted motion issues. But we don't mind reminding everyone. As per their interview with AV Network, Crestron states that when the DM NVX launched in 2017, most source content and displays were 1080p. Wait, what? 4K screens have been selling for many years. In 2017, prices dropped to new lows and the demand for 4K was very high and continued into the next two years. In a press release, Crestron claimed on February 7, 2017, that the NVX was the industry's only 4K60-444 HDR 1 gigabit network AV solution. That doesn't sound like 1080p. They even claimed 444 HDR at 4K in the headline. That doesn't exist. And they were not the industry's only 4K60-444 1 gig, as another manufacturer had done this too. They also claim no latency, which turned out not to be true, as they have 33 milliseconds or more of latency. For two years, Crestron has continued to make videos targeting SDVOE 10G solutions, while claiming that the NVX was functionally equivalent. Aurora has had the pleasure of setting the record straight with our truth series. But wait, there is more. Recently, they stated that 10G will not work on Cat 5E and 6 cables, and that's just plain incorrect. I mean, if you're looking at a 10 gig network versus a 1 gig network, not only are the switches more expensive, not only do you have to run new cabling, because the Cat 5E that's in your walls isn't going to handle that. 10G does work on 5E and 6, albeit at a reduced distance but it's still very effective for a typical conference room. Aurora has spent the past two years defending against these inaccurate claims, but today, we feel vindicated. As in their own words, they admit that their solution has not lived up to their own claims. And if that's not enough, now they have a shiny, new, and possibly proprietary form of JPEG 2000 to load into the NVX with snappy new marketing as if to gloss over past claims and shortcomings. First off, the Crestron NVX has an insatiable thirst for power. The NVX still needs 35 watts. That requires PoE++, of which there are no switches that support this on a large or even a small scale. This means that each unit requires an external power supply or additional equipment in the form of their $600 MSRP PoE++ injector. It's very large, and doesn't mount well behind displays due to its topside fan. It has no wall plates due to its excessive power and heat. It still has two frames of latency, so we're not sure how they claim no latency. It cannot deliver USB 2.0 at 480 megabits per second over 1G while delivering 4K as there's no bandwidth left to do it. It can't send 1G LAN over the same network connection. Most importantly, it is not an industry standard. There will be no interoperability with any other brand other than Crestron. Aurora is proud to be an SDVOE member, which, on the other hand, is a 40-member strong ecosystem of interoperable products. Pixel Perfect technology appears to be a proprietary form of JPEG 2000 with a 20 to 1 compression that only addresses static image artifacts. It does not solve the two frame latency, motion issues, which we've talked about in previous videos, or power consumption. But we will probably have to wait two years for them to admit all that. The reality is, it is overpriced for most solutions like restaurants, K 12, and conference rooms. 
Without wall plates, and given the difficulty of mounting, it's awkward to use in most applications. Its two frames of latency make it improper for medical, broadcast, virtual reality, and gaming solutions. The Aurora SD VUE solutions are small, mount easily, have wall plates, use PUE+, and offer lossless compression, not 20 to 1 compression, have zero frame latency at 0.1 milliseconds, and can deliver the USB and 1G Ethernet simultaneously with 4K video. Our products provide a future infrastructure for 8K without insane compression. We'd like to take a moment to thank Crestron for purchasing so many of our units for comparison demonstrations. Those units have funded this truth series to rebut those comparisons. Crestron's firmware update does not end the 1G versus 10G debate, but maybe we just did. 1G and 10G serve different applications at different price points. At the end of the day, it's just a pixel perfect excuse. Thanks for watching.